As we set out on today's adventure to the stunning Dingle Peninsula, I wondered what lay ahead for myself and my buddy Dave. I knew I'd see a waterfall falling into the sea, but I never expected what was about to happen and that we would meet our new friend, Gary. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm back in Kerry and I'm at a place I've never visited before. It's called Brandon Creek. It's at the uh, base of Mount Brandon and it's a spot that I've passed a number of times but today I'm on my way to Dingle, the actual Dingle Peninsula. So I've just came through Dingle Town and I saw the sign for Brandon Creek and said, you know what, let's go. Let's go have a look and see what it has to offer. It's not the greatest of light. Normally in Ireland it's kind of cloudy enough most of the time but Today, anyway, it's flat light, very, very little wind, um, and you know the waters behind me here as well may or may not actually be my subject of choice to take some photographs on. Just at the end here, as you can see on the bottom of the screen here, you can see a bit of a waterfall, and that's a waterfall that comes down and goes down to the down the cliff and down the rocks and down to the water level. So what I'm going to do is take a couple of photographs anyway here of that from this height. And then I'm going to play around and see if I can find a different composition to get something else in the foreground as well with that. But it's going to be difficult because it's below me. So I might have to try and drop down a bit there on the, uh, the, the cliff side. But we'll see how we go anyway from there. But for now anyway, yeah, let's get our first photograph in here. I'll get set up there. And once I get set up, I'll talk you through and what I'm doing for my composition at that stage. Now while looking at the scene and finding compositions, we spotted what looked like a small, moving white bird on the rocks below us, struggling to free itself from being trapped by the incoming tide. I popped on my long lens to discover it was a juvenile gannet that had some rope wrapped around its beak, and it was evident that it wasn't going to survive and needed help fast. very hard to see from this uh, video but down below there's a young gannet and it's in trouble. The gannet's kind of uh, top right of the video. So at present um, Darren's trying to get down through what's a very difficult terrain to get down to the gannet. Now whether we succeed or not I don't know. We've got a horrible vision that we'll be ringing somebody to come and get Darren and the gannet surely. So in a rare move uh, away from Darren's usual vlog, this is turning into a wildlife one where Darren climbs down the side of a very precarious cliff to see if we can rescue a gannet that appears to be tied up in some sort of netting with a transponder of some description attached to him. Now if you look down below you'll see a very small blue dot which is Darren and further in front of him there's a quite concern young gannet and uh, hopefully Darren can get down there and detach this poor thing from whatever it's attached to so I'll just leave this run for a second because I'm very impressed that he's actually managed to get down there without breaking his neck and um, we'll just see what happens so hopefully the bird won't try and take flight because if it uh, famous last words clearly in difficulty. I know you can't perhaps see from this and I'm not that good a cameraman, maybe I'll zoom in a little. Just adjust the frame slightly. too much of a struggle. How we get Darren back up the cliff afterwards, that could be finally a new as well. Now when I got close to him, I could see the full extent of the situation. The rope was not only wrapped around the bottom of his beak, it was also then wrapped around the top, thus sealing the poor bird's mouth. I freed him from the rocks and brought him to a more stable area. 
this is me looking for a knife or something sharp, neither of which we had. Well, that, that's not in the f***ing is, isn't it? Well, how long's he been there, though? It's back this today. Let's go and have a look at Brandon Creek Waterfall, says Spoonley. <laughs> we go there, and there is a gannet, said gannet here, with very sharp beak, totally attached to a piece of fishing line, or fishing net. He's ungrateful. There you are, say hello. Very ungrateful. But we finally managed to free him from the most disgusting piece of net going. Now, buddy, now, you're all we're gonna, safe. We're going to release you. You're not going to be happy. All our coats will be covered in gannet poop. And I'm one of the only people around that's managed to stroke a gannet without having blood drawn. Well, I have the blood drawn. It's dripping from Spoonley, but I'm doing all right. Watch your face for you. Now, the next thing is to get up, leave him alone. Don't bite me. Don't bite that hand that feeds you, you miserable. <laughs> Come on! Run nice. free! Run free, young Gannet! Be nice! Come on! That's it! Run free! Come on! Come on. There you go! Oh, buddy! Off you go! You're a good bird and you're knackered! No, so buddy! So am I! And now you can relax! So yeah, we rescued a gannet, and we have some uh, scars to prove it, but yeah, got to be done. Well done, Dave. Thank you. How are we going to get back up that cliff? It wasn't an easy task, and even with both of us trying to find anything sharp to cut this terrible binding loose, we only managed to find an old aerosol can, and to combine this with some sharp rocks, we were able to see our new pal, Gary back out in the water and fly off to find his next meal. Now was the challenge to get back up those 30 meter cliffs, alive and without any more injuries. See you later buddy. Off you go, out to sea. Well, that certainly was unexpected. Didn't come here expecting to save the life of the Gannet, but guess what? We did. Self and Dave, as you saw there, went right down to the edge of this cliff and it's quite a scramble actually and we were lucky that we did because this uh, bird was pretty much trapped in a load of um, I don't even know what it was, I took it with me and we'll show you here somebody, looks like it's something of a rope it's something on the very very edge of this but it was completely wrapped around the top, the bottom, inside his beak, everything so he was certainly not going to survive because he wouldn't be able to eat he was on the rock down below here and as you saw as well, he kind of was nice and calm, but he wasn't at the same point. He got us with a couple of good nicks. Got me on the hand and got Dave on the arm there. But yeah, it's now, you know, he's gone out to sea, so hopefully he'll survive and he lives a good and long, happy life. So I'm happy that we managed to do that. So back now to taking some photos. And what I've done is, instead of me actually utilizing the wide lens, I put on my long lens and I've just picked out different parts of this waterfall here. At 70 mil, it's actually too close, so I've ended up taking one three shots of the same waterfall with three different vignettes of that. And now, as well, I'm pointing out to see uh, some nice waves that are crashing out against the headland that's here. And I think, you know, that would probably be it for my first trip to Brandon Creek. Conditions aren't the greatest, anyway, as it is, but we spent about an hour trying to get this off the Gannett's uh, beak. But the light managed to, managed to do it anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take one or two other shots anyway here. I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very, very much as always for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, shalom before.